What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of one of my favorite phones from this year's CTIA. This is the HTC Built Sensation XL. There's a lot of phone to like about this guy. When I saw the screen during a hands-on demo, uh, it was probably one of the most impressive screens I'd ever seen. The resolution's not the best out there, but the way the screen actually looks and the way it appears to your eyes, whether you've got glasses or in direct sunlight, uh, was really impressive. So I'm excited to go ahead and dig in and see if this guy that's packing beats audio is as good as I remember. So first, let me say this phone has not been picked up by a carrier in the US. If you want to buy it, you can pick it up unlocked from our friends at Negri Electronics who sent this guy over. So you've got a picture of the device on the front. You've got some Beats headphones, which should be included in the box. And we'll talk about that a bit more as we go through the phone. We've got some white stuff. It's white and shiny and sealed. Uh, some specs on the phone, but don't bother reading that. We're going to talk about it. Uh, some highlights here. Bundled with Beats by Dr. Dre, your Beats in-ear headphones are the phones that uh, come rocked in here. So I don't have my obligatory big old knife with me, so I thought I'd do something else. We're going to start a new tradition with the unnecessary hammer unboxing. And I'm not going to bash it, though that would be probably a fun way to unbox. We're going to use the nail removal side. I'm sure it's got a technical uh, name to it. But I'm going to call it the nail removal side to go ahead and break this packaging, or at least break the seal. So go ahead, and it worked. Boom. And there wasn't much danger uh, of me chopping off a finger like we had with the big old knife. So go ahead and peel off the packaging. Boom. And there we go. All right, so let's slide the sucker out. A little bit of a cardboard sheath. And we've got another sticker. Of course, if we want to get through stickers, we gotta have something to get through them with. So we're gonna use the hammer yet again, which works surprisingly well, actually. Uh, usually with the knife, I didn't recommend you try it at home because you could slice your finger open. The hammer seems a little bit safer. So if you wanna give that guy a whirl, you can do so. All right, so HTC on the front, and there is the Sensation XL. Pretty cool packaging with the uh, Beats, your Beats headphones right there. Go ahead and pull this phone out. The uh, HTC packaging that we've seen before, at least as far as the protective stuff goes, it's pretty nice. You got the Beats Audio logo there. Uh, very typical HTC. People that you love or don't love uh, or prefer black, the white. Uh, I like a white phone, so it's sort of nice to have. Push it off to the side. Let's see what else we're going to have. We've got the Your Beats. Err, beats. Uh, so we're only going to have this phone for just about a day. Uh, and I don't like to do phone reviews when I can't give it sort of my full impressions. Uh, so there's not going to be a full review of this guy. I'm going to do a very thorough uh, hands-on, though, uh, of it as we walk through. So you've got a carrying case, Beats by Dre. Monster, of course, are the partners. You've got some ear tips inside and a little clip to clip it. Closed by magnets. Some warranty information and some books. Charging cable and data sync. That's, of course, the uh, micro USB variety. And this is a European phone. It's got the uh, UK and other adapter with it. So you're going to need to uh, bring your own adapter there. All right, so I'll push the headphones off to the side. Let's take a look at this guy. Because uh, there's a lot to uh, like and a lot to talk about here with the Sensation XL. So I'll go ahead and peel all this stuff off. And I'll start talking about the specs. Boom. Got a decent amount of weight to it. All right, so let's make them power it on. Well, sometimes these phones have something hidden in the battery compartment to uh, prevent you from turning it on by accident. So I'll go ahead and try and pull this off. And then I'll come back and tell you what the specs are. All right, so the entire back of the phone comes right off. We've seen this before with uh, other HTC devices. Go ahead and put this back, slide the top in, and snap into place. Let's go ahead and hit power. And now I think we're ready talk about the specs. So this has a charge in it. And it does. All right, so this is called the Sensation XL for a reason. It's because it's got an XL screen, uh, which is 4.7 inches. And that's going to be measured diagonally with a resolution of 480 by 800. That's 199 uh, PPI pixel density. Uh, don't get caught up on the screen resolution so much uh, as to how it's actually going to look when it's in your hand. 
on this screen here. Really looked impressive. I've seen just about every phone that's been released uh, over the past, now almost four years. Uh, and this screen really rivals any other phone uh, that I've had the privilege of checking out. All right, so this phone weighs 162 grams, so it's by no means a light phone. Let's slide that up. SIM card area, we'll go through all the uh, startup stuff. Not a SIM card in there. Uh, 16 gigs of storage, 768 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it does not have an external SD card slot, unfortunately, which is disappointing, uh, especially considering it's so music-centric. So we'll go ahead and skip all this stuff. We'll hit next. We'll just hit next. We'll skip the internet setup. I just want to show you what the phone looks like. Agree, so many things, so many ways to track me. Uh, accept, skip, finish, even though I'm American. Ha, bad joke. Okay, so uh, it is capable of uh, HSPA+, plus, potentially 14.4 megabytes down, or HSUPA on the upside for potentially 5.76 uh, on the upside. It does have support for AT&T's 850 band, so you should be able to get 3G speeds anywhere you are, despite this phone uh, not being released or really any intention to be coming uh, to the US. On the back, we've got an 8 megapixel camera, uh, which can shoot video at 720p. But that's not the only camera this guy's rocking. Also has, look at that, I turned the camera on totally by accident. That looked awesome though, like I meant to do it. Um, we've got a 1.3. A megapixel camera on the front. It's running Android version 2.3. It's being powered by a 1.5 gigahertz Scorpion processor. Uh, that's a single core processor with the Adreno 205 GPU. And if you're keeping track at home, it's the Qualcomm MSM8255 chipset. And as geeky as I am, I am, do have to read that. I didn't have that one memorized. Uh, the battery is 1600 milliamp hours going to give you about 360 hours of standby time on uh, 2G, or up to 11 hours, 50 minutes on the talk time side. So you'll be able to get a lot of talking done here. All right, so let's take a look at the phone. We've seen mostly everything here. Um, 1.5 gigahertz processor, no, no dual core action going on here. So let's take a quick tour uh, of the phone. So you've got your typical Android buttons, I should say your typical HTC Sense buttons, they do look a little bit different. We've got your home button, which is going to launch your pick a home screen, menu, back and search, stuff we've seen, proximity sensor and microphones uh, in their appropriate places. On the left hand side, it's where your charging port and syncing port's going to be. On the right, you've got your volume rocker up and down, top, power and lock button, I love it when it's on the upper right. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, secondary microphone. There's that camera, dual LED flash. Got that sort of metal back to it uh, with the plastic on the bottom with the Beats uh, logo right there and a ton of little uh, speakers and microphones littered around. So hopefully speakerphone on this guy will be quite loud. Unable to connect. I know, phone, you don't have a SIM card in you. All right, so this is a Beats by Audiophone. And that does a couple things. So first, you can use any headphone that you want here. You can go ahead and pop in whatever special headphones you have. If you have another pair of Beats headphones, you can use those too. They do come with the sort of inappropriately dangling out of the box, your Beats headphones. So let me go ahead and take these guys out uh, and show you what they can do. So uh, they do have on them uh, full controls for back, forward, play, pause, uh, and answering a phone call. There's a microphone built in there too. We'll go ahead and plug these in. Uh, and you're going to get a bit of a unique experience, and you should see, if my memory serves me correctly, you should see a Beats Audio logo appear when I plug this thing in, or at least maybe when I play some music. I go ahead and do that. Logo. No logo. Looks like we have to go ahead and do some music here. Let's go ahead and open that up and see if they got any songs. And they do. So I don't know what any of these bands are or artists. Wow. Um, here, I had a girlfriend in high school named Helena, so we'll go ahead and pick that. Uh, songs. And let's hit play. There we go. And there's that Beats Audio logo. Uh, and that's going to give you, and I'm by no means an audiophile. To me, sound is kind of sound. Uh, but when I did listen to this, unfortunately, I can't really show you or let you listen to it over YouTube and the camera. Um, when you listen to 
music with Beats headphones versus without Beats headphones, I definitely hear a difference. Uh, you hear deeper, richer sounds. It just sounded better. Um, and that may be totally arbitrary and it might be kind of made up and psychosemitic, uh, but the audio definitely sounded better. Uh, HTC really put together a nice package uh, in combination with Monster, uh, Beats Audio, and probably Dr. Dre was involved uh, in there somewhere. Uh, the audio just sounds very good. If you plug in headphones that aren't Beats Audio, I can get that little red B up there at the top. You can see them. There's the red B. Um, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. Hit home. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff that we're going to get. Let's go ahead and jump into settings. Scroll on down to the bottom. About phone. And you can see what other kind of stuff uh, we've got in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at hardware information. Let's take software information. All right, so Android 2.3.5, HTC Sense 3.5, we already knew about, and then there's the software uh, version. If you want to check the baseband kernel, that kind of stuff, there you go. Go ahead and hit home. Let's see what kind of apps we're going to get out of the box. Um, shouldn't be any carrier stuff in here since it's obviously carrier and branded, so you're getting sort of standard, I almost like to say stock, uh, HTC stuff. So you got Dropbox added in there. What else? New browser icon, your standard Android stuff. Uh, the very underrated uh, built-in navigation that comes into Android. Uh, that's one of the killer features for me that you get in sort of free turn-by-turn -turn directions. This one's always kind of funny. There's a mirror application, which all it does is uh, pretty much activate your front-facing camera. But it's funny that they call it mirror so you can see yourself. And there's my finger. And you can see it adjusting for the light as I move my hand over it. Different. Hopefully you can see. Maybe I was blocking it. So you can see it sort of adjusting itself. I know it's always funny that there was an app for that. Uh, music, Polaris Office, so you can create uh, Word Docs, Tango for video calling, of course you can use whatever you'd like. Soundhound Usage Monitor, Wi-Fi Hotspot, nice that's bundled in there. And that's gonna be it. Of course you can create Frequent um, or check all your downloaded stuff that you've got. And you're gonna wanna download a lot of stuff. If you're in the market for a larger uh, screen phone, especially from the 4.7 inches, uh, this is going to be a pretty nice choice. Uh, I will say that for someone like me whose eyesight seems to be getting progressively worse, and as resolutions on screens get better and better, screens get harder and harder to read. And I know I kept using these uh, words over and over again. Uh, so for me, um, having the screen resolution be as high as possible uh, isn't the most ideal thing in the world. I like a larger screen with a little lower resolution, uh, but that's just me. Some people certainly prefer the highest resolution um, and the highest pixel density possible. So definitely know yourself and know how you look uh, at phones. Um, if you are like me and you want something that looks pretty sharp, but also gives you the ability to sort of read it uh, without having to squint or put on your glasses, uh, this is gonna be a pretty good phone for you. Uh, some of the negatives though, the lack of external storage, you're gonna be stuck with 16 gigs. So if you're gonna bring a ton of music with you, maybe not the best choice. If you wanna get your Spotify on or streaming music, um, this may be a phone to look at. If screen brightness, and it's hard to sort of say what it is about this screen that looks so nice. And I've seen just so many screens on so many phones, uh, and very rarely do I get impressed anymore. Uh, but the screen on this guy just really is uh, quite nice. Um, 720p video, 8 megapixel camera, it's all pretty standard HTC stuff. Um, nothing overly exciting there. You can see some of the control that you're going to get. Uh, it's a pretty nice choice. So if you want to pick it up, um, be sure to check out our friends at Negri Electronics. Uh, this is going to be as in-depth as we're going to get of the phone. Since again, we don't have it for a long period of time. And I feel like it would be lying and cheating if I did a review of a phone that I only had for a day. Some other sites, I'm not going to mention, uh, do uh, do that. We don't. Um, so this has been a hands-on and a first look and a first impressions of the Sensation XL. Fingers crossed this is going to come to a carrier uh, in the US, uh, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and pick it up today. It is available. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for all your tech news, for unboxings, for hands-on, for other stuff that has to do with technology. Technobuffalo.com is the place to go. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.